Oh, yeah, jump for the real one here. Oh, just come back from a geocaching expedition. Um, I just thought I couldn't film it because there was too many muggles around. Um, it was quite close to a, a popular spot where they all sit. So uh, I thought I'd give you a look at what I carry um, when we go geocaching. First of all, whoops, I got my Carmen E-Trax 10. Um, it's got a light on it, which uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not. It uh, gives you all the bits and pieces you can put in uh, your coordinates, and it gets put into that directly. It'll tell you where you're going. I carry a pen for filling out the logbooks because occasionally the, uh, the caches are small enough you can't get a pen in there. Then I have my little trinket box. I've got a lion. I've got a penguin. I've got some, I don't know, some bloody bouncy, bally toy thing, but anyway. And I've got a flying unicorn. And a shell. So the shell was from Anthony, he donated that. And then there's a unicorn from Vicky. I put the penguin in there. Mum gave me the lion, and Chris gave me the, the ball toy. So yeah, that's pretty much what I carry with me. So, well, it isn't too bad, you know, we have a bit of fun. Um, we went, the first one we went to, we, we just couldn't find it. I don't know whether somebody had, had nicked it or moved it or something, but anyway. The second one we found really reasonably easy. Um, still a lot of fun. But um, this view here, mate, it gives you the idea of how many caches are out there? Well, there's over a thousand here in Launceston and surrounding area, so yeah, it's pretty wild. But anyway, I'm starting my own cache. I will be setting a container like this with a lid on it and probably these couple of trinkets like this in it. Not with me, be, not with me phone and no GPS. We'll have the pan in it. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that video. That'll be coming soon.